when it comes to animal control and their shelters. That we only take in just cats and dogs. <laughs> Those in the business say. That we only deal with dogs and cats. Thank you, good boy. <laughs> There's a big misconception. One of the biggest misconceptions about animal shelters is that all we deal with is cats and dogs. So much more than dogs and cats. We have butterscotch that I'm holding, and then we have two guinea pigs named Whiskey and Midnight. Then there are the number of animals they see. Anywhere between four and 600 a year. Anywhere between 500 to 800. Which helps you understand their workload. About a thousand of them. Animal control officers work year round, on duty 365 days a year, taking care of the animals in the shelter. But when it comes to dogs and cats, they truly are in the majority at local shelters. But every once in a while, the turkey had me going for a little while, so we picked that up as a stray, as it would be, but it was obviously someone's pet. Um, his name was Earl, and he hung out like he was just another member of the staff. Over the years, we have adopted out a goat that we had in the city. We adopted out bunnies, ferrets, chickens, roosters, um, guinea pigs. We've had goats, we've had uh, pigs. We had a homing pigeon and he came from Illinois. Another surprise is the number of purebred animals that come through the door. We do have purebred at times that come in here. And so people have a misconception that it's just stray dogs and cats. We've had golden doodles come through. We've had German shepherds. We've had English bulldogs to English Mastiffs, Great Danes. But there is another misconception in that animal control officers and their shelters only deal with animals. We help the animals, we also help people a lot too. Interactions with adults and students very much a part of the job. We do community outreach if they need straw, we provide dog houses if we have it, dog beds, um, and we've most recently started hosting free clinics for the homeless and near homeless. And the dog houses that are behind me were done by Coach Hallis's 12th grade English class. In Prince George County, the animal shelter teamed up with the school system to work with students with special needs. They help with cleaning of kennels and to help with uh, various build maintenance such as laundry, uh, the folding of the newspapers used for cleaning the cat enclosures. Not just life lessons, but most importantly, an opportunity. Tony Townsend's son is one of three participants. It gives a person a, an opportunity just to have uh, life skills, uh, working skills. Um, you know, everybody needs to be a productive citizen. And for Zach. What's Zach think about this? He, he loves it because he just loves animals and he likes he likes interacting with the staff here. And ultimately, the family says it's made a difference in Zach's life. Yeah, it has. I mean, it gives him uh, just an opportunity to be Zach. One big challenge for shelters is they fill up quickly, which means there are times they just can't accept any more animals. And if you're wondering about Earl the turkey, he was adopted. And right now, he's living his best life out on a farm.